I'm five years old. It's a Wednesday afternoon, and I run out of the classroom into my father's arms. We walk outside to his red station wagon. My father turns on the radio, it crackles with static, and he pops in a CD with Stayin' Together written in blue sharpie across the front. It's a playlist of my father's favorite songs. I've heard them countless times, so I've memorized the lyrics, but the only artist name I know is Ario Speedwagon. I'm nine years old. It's a Saturday morning and my father is turning down County Road 652. I'm sitting in the middle of the back seat with a bag of dill pickle chips and a blue bug juice from the Amina party store. As we cruise down back roads, I wonder how my father knows how to get everywhere. We've never gotten lost, even when the road we usually take is closed. We always end up back home. I'm six years old. It's noon on a Tuesday and my father pulls his foot slightly off the gas to check the water level of a creek. My hair twirls around my face because even though it's July, my father prefers to drive with the windows down instead of the AC on. I focus on the drum solo I'm playing on my invisible drum set as rows of corn rush past the windows. A small yellow butterfly on the side of the road dances with the breeze to the beat of my drumming. Soon the song ends and I brush my hair out of my face, realizing we are turning down our driveway. I frown. Even though we've been out for what seemed like hours, I don't want to get out of the car. I'm 17 years old. I don't drive with my father much anymore, but I do drive alone. I crack open the windows even in the winter and drum the beat of the song on the steering wheel. I pick up a bag of hot Cheetos from the Almina party store and play Ario Speedwagon from my own playlist. And without ever using a map, I know where to go. I always wind up back home.